Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, <clears throat> I'm going to demonstrate how to join computers or register computer to Azure. So there's a, a lot of ways you can do. You can, the first one is this called Azure AD Joint Devices. And the second one is Azure AD Register Devices. And also the third one is Azure Hybrid Joint Devices. And the fourth one, Autopilot. So I will go through number one, number two, and number three. I will not go through Autopilot in this video. I already created a video for Autopilot and I will provide the link in the description. So now let's do Azure AD Joint Devices. Let's go here. I have a couple of test devices we can test. The Azure Join devices. Um, let's open up one of my test device. I'm going to choose the 007. So to, to Azure join your devices to your computer, I mean to um, Azure, um, the first thing you need to do is you want to make sure the you ask the administrator you need to go in and enable the MDM MDM join features. So you want to click on Azure Active Directory, and you want to click on Azure Active Directory, and then you want to click on Mobility, MDM, and MAM. You want to click on Microsoft Intune. So the MDM user scope, you want to make sure either you choose some or all. Some mean you can choose a certain group you want to you want to enable. For example, if I select the select group and I search for Intune test. Right here. I have to just select it and that will allow MDM for this user. So in this case, I'm going to do all. This is the MAM scope. I can do this later. But so this is the first step you have to do. You want to make sure it is enabled. And now let's lock into this device, this device is not joined to on-prem Active Directory or anything. Just say if a user have bring his or own device BYOD, and the user require to register the device to Azure in order to access email, um, SharePoint, or any other uh, company resources, he or she has to join Azure Active Directory. So let's click on this window icon and click on settings. You want to go to accounts and then access work or school. Click on connect. Enter the account. Oops, sorry. Um, this is the, which one is this one? This is the Azure AD joint. So I have to go in, I have to click on join this device to Azure. Let's remove this. Click on join this device to Azure. So while it's doing that, let's go into the, the portal here and click on Azure Active Directory. Go to Devices. Uh, 
as you can see, I don't have any devices joined yet. I'm going to enter the email or email address. There we go. I'm going to click next. Oops, it should be user one, not test one. Click next. Enter the password. Sign in. Hmm. Let's try again. It's going to take a few minutes. It's trying to connect to Azure. All right, click join. All right, as you can see, this device is connected to Contoso and it's ready to go. Click done. Here it is. I click on info. I can force the scene if I want. All right, now let's take a look at the ponds, uh, the portal. I'm going to refresh this. I should see the device shows up. Here it is. And it's also registered to Intune and it's compliant. So that's the first one. That's the Azure. 80 joint devices. The second one I'm going to do is the Azure 80 register devices. So Azure 80 register device, um, let's go to one of my test device, the Oh, I forgot to explain. So you got all you gotta do again is go into settings, and then the accounts, and click on access work or school. Okay, this account is already registered, so I'm gonna disconnect. All right. I'm gonna so you gotta do is click connect so instead of join this device to Azure AD you can just enter the email address here that's the only difference 
the only difference between registered device to Azure and joint device to Azure. Click next. Enter the password. Okay, I'm going to try it again. It's probably a messed up with the password. Click next. All right, so I have to verify security information, uh, security verifications. I'm going to enter the my phone number. Actually, I'm going to pause the video. I'm not going to do that. I'm the, I'm not going to show. That's okay, I'm going to enter my number and I can upload it later. Enter the code three nine seven zero nine six all right verification successful click on done I'm not going to create a pen so it's not required so that's done that's the register device to Intune or to Azure. Let's go here and refresh the screen. Here it is. PC number 009 registered as Azure AD registered, as you can see here, the different, and it is MDM joint, which is Microsoft Intune, and it is compliance for both of them. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to do Azure hybrid joint. So to do Azure hybrid joint, I have to run the Azure AD Connect. Here, the Azure AD Connect icon, right click, go to run as administrator. Click on configure. Click on device options. I'll configure device option. Click next. It just tells you Azure Hybrid Join and device right back. Enter my password.
configured hybrid Azure joint. Support Windows 10 or later. This is Windows 10 or Windows Server 2016. But if you have anything lower than Windows 10, like Windows 2000, uh, Server 2008, Windows 8, Windows 7, you have to check this this box. I'm going to check this box in case. So it's a Windows down level device that support only if you're using seamless single sign on managed domain or federation service such as ADFS. That's fine. Yep. Click next. I'm going to enter the credential. My domain. Um, enterprise admin. This is the enterprise admin account. Looks good. I'm going to download this in case I need it later. next and configured so this is the Azure hybrid joint click exit and now if I go here it's going to take some time before the, com the computer shows up here let me refresh All right, not here yet. All right, as you can see, when I refresh the screen, I see devices are joining. Look at this one, hybrid Azure join, and it's pending. So join type, there's three types here. Azure AD join, Azure register join, hybrid Azure join. So those are the three items or the three steps that I shows you guys the fourth step is the autopilot i'm not going through this one this one takes some time and i have a video that i created already i'm going to put in the description section please review it if you want to learn about autopilot that's it if you guys like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please have a great day